whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, gosh, yeah. Video time. All right, all right. People, giving you guys what you want, man. I'm down here in the basement of my house. First video. Check it out. If you like it, I hope that you can like this thing. If you really like it, I hope you can retweet it. And if you don't like it at all, just go ahead and like it because I could use the likes. Because I want, I, want, I want to see how many people like this. I want to see what we can do here, okay? Um, so the reason I started this video, um, I have the opportunity to speak around town. I have the opportunity to speak when I go back home. And my main goal in life is to impact people and put a smile on people's faces. And I've heard from a lot of people that they want to hear from me. So, you know, if this doesn't go well, then you guys don't want to hear from me. That's fine. I don't even think that I have much good to say, to be honest with y'all. But... I'm going to try to see if this works out. So this is my first video. I don't know how many people this is going to reach. Maybe a little bit of people. Maybe a lot of people. Um, I put on a nice shirt. I uh, Something that was a little tight, so it made my arms look kind of big. Um, did my hair a little bit. I want to make sure I was uh, presentable for y'all. Um, a lot of people I know is going to watch this, and a lot of people I don't know are going to watch this. But you guys got to listen up. This is what you guys want. If you guys have questions, you guys want to know what I'm doing, you guys want to know what I do this weekend, you guys want to know how football is going, you guys want to know uh, my stories about my faith, you guys want to know uh, my stories with my friends, uh, crazy stories, um, uh, stories that I've impacted people or people have impacted me, uh, you guys want to know how school's going, anything. And the way that we do this is if you guys can respond, you guys can instant message me on uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, that works. Um, you guys can email me at dalton.reisner71 at yahoo.com. I'll write that there at the bottom. I have this little iMovie maker, so I'm going to make this thing look really cool. Um, but this is the intro video. This is the first video ever, and hopefully it's the start of something crazy cool. Um, I don't know how this is going to end up, but, you know, I'm just giving it a shot. So my name is Dalton Reisner. I am a uh, fifth-year senior at Kansas State University. I've been playing offensive line here for five years. I'm originally from Wiggins, Colorado. Um, the boys on the team, y'all already know what's up. Um... No words have to be said after that, okay? The W, let's keep it real. Um, and I came out here to play football. I uh, have had a long career here, and I just graduated this last December, and I have 10 months left in Manhattan to make something happen, make something shake. Uh, Got to go out there and do my thing at O-line, and I'm sure a lot of y'all don't even know what offensive line is, but that's what that's my goal, and uh, we'll see how things go. Um, I come from a real small town. So Wiggins is a small town, about 1,200 people, uh, 28 people in my graduating class. Um... <sighs> on a Saturday night, what did we do? Um, the fun thing to do was was drive around town and, and maybe uh, shoot. I don't even know. I guess we could, um, you know, shoot at random things, drive in the truck, drive down dirt roads, and listen to music. That's that's a small town that I lived in. There are no clubs, nothing like that. Occasionally we got up to Denver, but you know we we didn't really fit in up there. But that's what we did in high school. I lot of have I have a lot of great friends back there from Wiggins. I love my hometown, Wiggins. A lot of people from Wiggins are probably going to watch this. Um, I love everything about Wiggins. Um, that's the, that, that town made me the person that I am, and I owe a lot to that town. Um, you know, we play football, basketball, um, I did track, and that's what you do in a small town. You play sports, and if you don't play sports, you go to the games, and it's a, it's one big family back there, and I love everyone back home, and I do a lot of uh, what I do to make people back home proud. So shout out to all y'all. I love each and every one of you guys. I'm going to post this to Facebook. That's where I'm sure I get a lot of people, people from Wiggins watching, and like I said, you guys, if you guys have kids that have any questions for me or anything, I might make two separate videos, one for Twitter, one for Facebook. Uh, we'll see how this works, but uh, other than that, guys, it's a little intro on who I am. Um, I'm, a, I'm a very big Christian. I believe in God. I believe that, you know, Jesus died on the cross for our sins. Um, I, I love Jesus with all my heart. And, you know, throughout my journey in college, I've learned a lot about myself and a lot about my faith. And that's become one of the most important things to me. Um, I love my family. I have a tattoo here, my family tree. So I carry all my loved ones on my tree. I'm actually about to get tatted up today. So I'm going to get strapped up today on that arm. And on this side, I got my uh, Bible verses um, that I live by. And uh, the one word of the day, I'm going to try to keep it short. It's already at four minutes, um, is... Proverbs 16, 9. The, the heart of man plans his way, but the Lord establishes his steps. And if I have any recommendations to y'all for this weekend, until we talk on Monday, is that you can plan your way as much as you want. Each of us can say that we're going to do this, we're going to do that. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to Tubby's tonight, and after I'm going to go to Varsity Donuts. You know what I mean? Um, we can say that's going to happen, but we have no idea. And if you're a person of faith or a person not of faith, it doesn't matter. I just want you guys to remember that you can plan your way as much as you want, but God's will be done. And... If you can have faith in that and you can trust in him in that, 
then you can do anything. And, you know, it's easy when times are going good, but when things get hard, that's when having faith is the most important. And this weekend, I hope that you guys all walk around and remember that everyone has a story and everyone's going through something different. So if you get a chance to put a smile on someone's face, um, buy them a drink, buy them lunch, or give someone a hug, tell them they look good, um, I encourage you guys to do that because everyone's going through something different and we all have our battles, no matter how much each and every one of us want to hide it, each and every one of us have a battle that we're going through. And uh, whenever you put a smile on someone's face, you never know what that's going to do for them. So I encourage you guys to do that this weekend. Um, message me any questions that you ask. Uh, Monday's going to be a day where I answer all your guys' questions. So that's going to be the video on Monday. And then next Friday, I'm going to do my own little video again, and we'll answer, answer questions on Monday. So go ahead and like, retweet, favorite, respond, do all that you guys got to do. Um, this is Dalton Riser, peace and out. Um, first video, let's get this thing going. All right. Okay, I want to end this with a funny story of the week. It was pretty hilarious. I'm in my athletic care and prevention class this week, and the teacher is talking about how you have to use your thumbs to play Xbox. I, and I started laughing. She says, oh, what? what's going on? I said, oh, I, I know about that Xbox. I know what's going on there. And uh, she said, oh, okay, that's funny. I said, yeah, Fortnite for sure. And uh, <laughs> before I know it, about five seconds later, I looked back. I didn't know what was going on. I could hear someone laughing, and the guy's just back there giggling. He's just like... <laughs> Oh, yeah, I understand. <laughs> I, that guy made my day because he felt me 100%. I know he's on Fortnite. I'm about to go to class at 1.30. I'm going to get his gamer tag, and we are going to be sledging down, finding treasure chests probably the rest of the night. So that's my boy. He put a smile on my face. That's what I'm talking about. All right, over and out.